Universal credit isn't working. That's the title of the report of the Economic Affairs Committee of the House of Lords, which I chair, into universal credit. We found widespread support for the concept of universal credit, but the design and implementation is resulting in real harm to some of the most vulnerable people in our country. The five-week wait uh, for payments uh, results in rent arrears, increased debt, people having to go to food banks in order to feed their children, and enormous stress. We are recommending that there should be a two-week grant, non-repayable, given to all claimants at the start. The government's announcement that it will increase the standard allowance in response to COVID-19 is extremely welcome, but it needs to be made permanent. And the payments to claimants vary enormously from month to month. This volatility causes real difficulty in budgeting and again increases the stress on poor families. We are suggesting that the payments should be fixed for three months with the opportunity for review. We were shocked to discover that large deductions can be made from these payments in order to cover historic debt arising from overpayments on tax credits. Many of the claimants were unaware of this debt and few were responsible for it. We are suggesting the government writes it off and recognises that it's never going to be paid back. The sanctions regime is amongst the most punitive in the world and the evidence we had shows it is not particularly effective. The sanctions regime needs to be reviewed with more emphasis on carrot than on stick. Universal credit needs reform.